Hello and welcome to the Victoria Art Gallery. My name's Catherine Wall, I'm Collections Manager here and today I'm going to be talking to you about works by women artists in our collection. Not everything in the Victoria Art Gallery's collection can be on display at any one time and that's partly because of lack of space but also because some works of art are just too delicate to be on display all the time. You know, some of them would fade away to nothing if they were kept on permanent display. So it's always nice to go and have a look at the things that we have in store including this wonderful little miniature by the Victorian artist Sarah Biffin. Sarah Biffin was a wonderfully talented disabled artist and she came from quite an unusual social background for an artist. She was born into a farming family. They lived near Bridgewater in Somerset. She was born sometime round about 1784. Her father was a farm labourer, sometimes he worked as a cobbler, so absolutely not the kind of social background you would expect for a successful Victorian artist. But Sarah was incredibly talented from an early age. Despite living on a farm and being you know, from a poor background, she taught herself to read and to write and to sew. When she was about 13, she left the family home, as so many young people did back in the early 19th century, and she went to work in travelling fairs where people would come and pay to watch her paint. Now, Sarah Biffin, being a very talented and very canny individual, she specialised in a kind of art that was very commercially successful in the 19th century, and that is miniatures. Because, of course, back in those days, people didn't have photography, but as nowadays, people treasured having images of their loved ones. Now, miniature paintings are pretty much on the same scale as photographs. They're very, very small, and it would mean that people could, you know, kind of take them in their luggage when they went travelling. They could always keep miniatures with them. And this was a very good commercial proposition for Sarah Biffin. It meant that she could easily make money painting miniatures. In 1808, Sarah Biffin appeared at the famous St Bartholomew's Fair in London. Now, by that time, 1808, she was attracting quite a reputation for herself because she was a brilliant painter and also because of her unusual technique as she painted with the brush held in her mouth. Uh, the Earl of Morton decided to see for himself whether Sarah Biffin's real talent did live up to her reputation. So he decided to go and see her painting at St Bartholomew's Fair and to ask her to create a portrait of him. And in the event, he was absolutely bowled over by her wonderful talent and the likeness that she created of him. And he was impressed to the extent that he decided to do what he could to help her in her career. So he paid for her to be trained by a professional artist and also he introduced Sarah to all sorts of members of society who were keen to have their portraits painted and she ended up even painting members of the royal family. She became a well-established artist, she set up a studio in London and she became so famous that she's even mentioned by Charles Dickens in some of his novels including The Old Curiosity Shop. In 1827, the Earl of Morton died, and despite her talent, Sarah Biffin began to struggle a little without his support. Our miniature by Sarah Biffin dates from 1827, from this turning point in her career when things started to get more difficult for her. Now, 1827 was an interesting year in art because one of the big hit paintings at the Royal Academy Summer Show was a painting of Lady Peel by Thomas Lawrence. Now, if you look at Thomas Lawrence's Lady Peel, which is in the Frick Collection in New York, you can see it's very, very similar to this little miniature by Sarah Biffin. The sitters, they seem to be wearing the same clothes, they've got the same jewellery on, but the faces are different. And this is very, very odd. We can tell that this isn't just a copy by Sarah Biffin of Thomas Lawrence's original because of course Sarah Biffin was a professional portrait painter. She could do a brilliant likeness. So the reason why the face in our miniature is so different from the face in Thomas Lawrence's original is an interesting conundrum. Now what I think must have happened is because the Thomas Lawrence painting of Lady Peel was so famous and so beloved by the public a young lady in London decided that she wanted to be painted in the same costume, hat, 
and jewellery as Lady Peel, but obviously with her own face. And she asked Sarah Biffin to do this for her. So it's a little bit like early 19th century Photoshop done by the wonderful Sarah Biffin. Mm -hmm.